स्ट्रेस लेवल हैज गॉन फ्रॉम जीरो टू हंड्रेड ओके कैन यू लिटरली हियर इट This is a freaking major tea. Indian, British, Turkish, I don't know what kind of tea, but a major hot hot tea with spices. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to our channel. This is your Shubhanki. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because uh -huh. today I'm going to spread negativity. <laughs> no, no, no. Just kidding. I'm going to always spread positivity. I'm going to be positive and save your life by telling you guys this, this, this product does not work for me, and I don't think it is going to work for majority of population, including you guys. So in that way, I'm going to spread positivity. <laughs> wow, where did my intro go? Huh? Where did it deviate? But I mean, I'm not complaining. This is what a OG Shubhu video should look like. There will be no direction, no planning, only craziness, spontaneity, randomness, madness. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today's video is going to be a regret video. I'm going to share ten products that I have bought recently, and I did not like it. Did not work for me and that could be because the formula is absolutely shitty or could be because the formula is good but not for my skin tone neutral to yellow undertone or could be because the formula is not for my skin type that is dry so on this three bases i'm going to judge actually i have tried this product multiple times almost eight nine times some of the product and if it doesn't work after that then it's kind of safe to say that i regret buying it <laughs> oh i forgot today's tray kind of looks like That's it. That's the sneak peek you're gonna get. Anyway, let's get started. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Another thing, all the products are very affordable. I mean, I only buy affordable products, so I can only regret in that category only. So I'll start with the products that did not work for my skin tones and skin types. And lastly, yeah, I'll save it for the last. Lastly, I'll talk about all the products that are like worst, worst formulas. And remember, I have freaking some of the very, very new launches in that category. So this is a eyeliner. I think it's also a very new launch. So I'm talking about this product. It's the NYB Truly Matte Liquid Liner. Actually, it's very, very matte. Matte, to be honest so this is the color i actually like how pigmented this is and so matte it's exactly what it claims but for me since i have dry skin it's way too matte for me with my double cleansing also it did not go away it takes a lot of time to dry out that is the main problem i have to wait like freaking 5 10 minutes to make it dry and after it dries out it dries out so weirdly it always cracks and tugs my skin it's like very matte to the point that my dry skin cannot handle it it gets stuck to my skin and it's so freaking uncomfortable i like matte formulas but when it's just matte when you look at it but you can't feel the mattness if i start feeling the mattness it's a no no from me and this is exactly what happened to this products and also some of you guys said that yeah you guys don't like this product as well because how matte and you know uncomfortable this is again also some of you guys said that no shubhanki it doesn't happen to me so i'm guessing it it's my skin type problem i have dry skin so it doesn't suit me so that's why i kind of little bit regret it not going to try any more shades from this range okay another classic classic example of a good product but i'm not good for me type of example this is basically this product this is cuffs and lashes perfect finish matte i think compact powder pressed compact powder i have the shade 03 fair with me now as much as i love the packaging the puff the mirror everything so pretty i did wanted to like this formula so much i have tried it multiple times i think this is the formula i have tried like 8 to 9 times i mean i have given this formula so many chances but every time it did not work for me and that's because it's way too matte for me and you know what after using this formula i felt like matte does not work for me at all and i started shifting away from any kind of matte formulas but then i recently tried out a very matte powder and i absolutely fell in love at the moment and that's because let me tell you that matte formula that i recently tried does not make you feel matte but this one makes me feel matte like you you keep on doing this your skin is like tugging and you know it's feeling cracky you need some boost of moisture on your skin i felt with this formula so this is not for dry skin at all but i think this is so like sets your makeup so well and becomes matte oily skin people will love it yeah that's that a sad story <laughs> the main thing that i actually liked about this product is by the way it's very rough as well it's not smooth powder so the particles are little bit bigger it's not fine so that's also a problem the main thing i love about this product is that it has got such a good coverage so if your concealer did not totally cover your dark circles using this powder can you know help you get more coverage but not for me this is a product that you guys requested me this is a concealer by the way the main problem i had that it creased so much on my face the formula is very crease creasing uh, it's though blendable and buildable and also a slightly lightweight but also the coverage is like sheer to medium coverage it's actually the formula is not matte it's like a dewy concealer the finish of the concealer is like a little dewy dewy concealers always creases so i don't know how they claimed it is not going to crease so i'm basically talking about this product right here this is the matte look full coverage jumbo concealer firstly it's not full coverage so that's wrong oil control perfect coverage it doesn't control oil rather it creases a lot and it of course does did not fully cover my dark circles I have not tried anything other than this concealer from this brand Matte Look but I actually did not like it but I'll tell you what I actually like this applicator it's so big I actually love a big applicator my favorite concealer also has big applicator so yeah I got the shade 02 Classic Ivory but again you know apart from all this 
issues I had with this concealer, but I felt like this formula I think did not work for me. I feel like this has some potential that it may work out for somebody. I don't know who, and I don't recommend by the way. So yeah, never mind. Now the next product is a lip product, and it's a very new brand. Actually, the OG brand was there for a long time, but they created another brand, another affordable brand, and from the scattered tiny hints, I hope you guessed it. It's Tri Sugar and Sugar Pop. I'm talking about. So I have this product from Sugar Pop. So this is their matte lip color, a long lasting liquid lipstick. Now this is, I think, a product that I wouldn't say I regret buying it because I can use it if I use tons of lip balms or if I use a gloss with this product. But itself, on its own, it's a little drying on my skin. So that's why I don't like it only on its own. So it's not a total regret, but I do want to mention that this is not a good one. And you are paying for it, so you should know it. So I have the color uh, 10 rose wood with me. I actually absolutely love the color. This is rose wood. It's like a burnt reddish brownish. I don't know how to explain colors clearly, <laughs> but this is the color. I absolutely love the color. You know what? I'll apply this a little bit. Wow. From a regret video, it's turning to a try on haul. Can you see? I love the color actually. I don't actually have any other complaints than it's a little drying on my skin. Oh, also another thing I need to need to mention that I love about this product is that after it dries and becomes fully matte, it's fully matte. It is so batch proof, my goodness. If I rub it with water also, it will not come out. I swatched it on my hand, on my sister's hand, both took a shower and the swatch was still on. Nothing happened. And then I was like, oh my God. But I have to mention that it did make me feel a little uncomfortable, you know, I have to mention it. So anyway, moving on. So this is another product that I absolutely hate and regret buying. But I do think that if I, use it wisely and carefully still it is not going to be the one of the worst product i've tried so i'm basically talking about yes a tint i'm talking about a tint and talking badly about a tint so you gotta carefully listen all ears on me okay <laughs> so i'm basically talking about steak workies lip chick tint i guess it's a cutesy tootsie something i have the shade smoking siren with me this one and let me tell you this is the most long lasting tint i have ever applied on my skin but that is also the reason why i hate it so first of all it is super pigmented like super on your face pigmented and since it's so pigmented you can never use it directly on your skin like this you have to apply it on your hand then take the product and then dab 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 if you by mistake also if you do it your whole face is ruined you have to start from the beginning that's because it freaking stains your face the place where you're gonna apply it the initial place it is going to stain so hard that if you blend it also after one second also the first place will have the deepest pigment and you can literally see it on your face and it is going to look so bad so <laughs> clearly my frustration screams that i have done this mistake so many times also this freaking blush made me start trying out buildable blushes i don't want one swipe so much of pigment and also two other things that i don't like is that it is so freaking liquidy oh my god it just drops down your face i don't like such a liquid blush i like liquid brushes but it shouldn't be watery like this can you see how watery it is i don't like that and secondly the shade ranges i think they have only reds five minutes later oh my god i just showed you guys the product and just tilted it like this and it leaked can you see my hand right now and it is going to stain and be like this for like at least three days also yeah this is very messy every time i open it my hands are like this so i would never recommend you guys and i'm wearing white my stress level has gone from zero to hundred <laughs> so the next product is actually a product that i love <laughs> such a weird way to start but hold on i'll tell you so this is an eyeliner that i love because of how pigmented this is and how beautiful the wand is and i do use it yes i do use it and i would also use in future and i would like to recommend but i don't like some part of this eyeliner and that's why i don't know how you are going to like it or not so i'm basically talking about this product right here oh this is also another product requested by one of you guys so this is pop eye style liner from swiss beauty i have the shade clover green with me and it's such a beautiful color and i love the wand it's so easy to use this wand look at the pigment it's so pretty but the only problem i see is that it's very not long lasting wow i'm literally talking weirdly <laughs> so when it dries actually if i rub a little bit only it will come off and it comes off like dust and you don't have to rub it hard with the gentle rub also it comes off so you guys if you have bad habits of always rubbing your eyes this product is definitely not for you so this part is this tail is dried so i'm gonna show you guys can you see that can you see that it comes off so easily so it's not long lasting at all that's why i don't like it actually i mean i like it when i'm making videos i can pop this on but if i'm going out i don't know i have no control on my hands i may start rubbing my eyes i don't trust this formula for an all day long outdoor activity yeah okay we are slowly kind of moving towards all those formulas that sucks
So the next product is a concealer again and it's of course another new launch. It's by Faces Canada. Actually, you know what? This concealer is so creasing. It feels like you have tons of layers on your skin when you actually had one layer. I get major creasing under my eyes, on my eyelids. Actually, eyelids, okay, I'll, I'll consider that. But my go-to concealer never creases on my eyelids too. But on my under eyes, I don't have any sort of folds or wrinkles on my under eyes and it freaking creates wrinkles. I don't know how. This formula did not work for me actually. I have the shade Sand Beige 01. This is... Oh, okay, another thing. This is freaking 01. It is so yellow. Oh my god, this is not for my skin tone as well. And this is 01. It is so not inclusive. Oh my god. How am I going to get my shade? Can you see the difference? How dark this concealer is than my hand? So that's also another problem with this concealer. So yeah, all in all, it did not work for my skin type as well as skin tone. It's medium coverage. If I build it up, now one layer makes me feel like I have tons of layer on. If I build up, I don't know what will happen. But it does give more coverage when you build it up. But again, it creases more as well. So <laughs> I don't like it. And I feel like it's not going to be liked by most of you guys. Okay, <laughs> by looking at the rest of the products on my tray, I feel like <laughs> I am on the verge of spilling some tea now. Let's start talking about Blue Heaven. Very newly launched and their ad is popping up everywhere I go. So I'm talking about yes so this is their newest highlighter i have actually on camera tried it and shown you guys how it failed on my skin multiple times so i'll probably link the video on the cards i guess now the formula is very dewy the consistency as well as the formula feels very chip chipa and sticky however the pigment is so not blinding like very sheer when you apply it and you don't get the blinding effect but on top of that you get a chip chipa feeling and all your base makeup everything gets ruined at that particular area you are going to get pissed who will not tell me this is exactly what is done by this product and i I absolutely hate it actually i do regret buying it i would never recommend it i have the shade rose gold i guess yes okay this though was the formula problem another problem that i think absolutely we should consider is the packaging problem now it's not like a tiny little bit packaging problem it's a major packaging problem i would admit the cap is super super high quality as well as the nozzle but the tube the tube mechanism is so shitty if i press literally a lot of product comes out there's no way i can control that and there's also no way that i can put all those extra products back to its place so literally every time i'm gonna take out the product i'm gonna waste a lot of product in that way i'm actually misusing wasting a lot of product after using one or two times you are freaking going to feel that the whole tube is empty like can you see that like the whole tube there's only air in it can you literally hear it like literally this is air sound of air inside the tube like it's almost 80 percent empty and i've tried only like three to four times how is this possible how is this going to sustain i feel like i'm spilling literally hot hot tea here another facts do you want to know so this the quantity here is 8 ml liquid product their previous launch if i'm talking about this is a blush stick and the quantity is 8.5 grams and before you say anything i know you can't compare weight with volume i know that but still just for this particular moment if i consider it i literally have freaking the full almost the full product but i've tried this i think more than 20 times all my videos if you see i have used this one and i'm still using it and i'm gonna still use it in the future and i recommend this so much it's very sustainable and efficient and less wastage of products with this packaging so literally not only the formula people also the packaging i hate absolutely everything about this product the whole new launch is not good not satisfactory but i have talked about it go check those videos out i'm not going to talk about it anymore this ends the roasting story of this product Okay, everybody, this is a freaking major tea. Indian, British, Turkish, I don't know what kind of tea, but a major hot, hot tea with spices. <laughs> and you know why? Because this formula failed and how? I don't think I've seen anybody talking badly about this product. I don't know. I, I'm not aware. Yeah, so I'm basically talking about Sugar Pop, everybody. So this is the BB cream from Sugar Pop. I have the shade 01 Sand. Now, you guys know I love a good BB cream. You know, literally most of the products that I recommend you guys are skin tints BB cream. And I was so excited about this product because of the, the color, the packaging, also the BB cream, the formula. I was so excited at girlies and my excitement freaking crashed like the formula made a hole <laughs> in that excitement so what happens i'll explain but if you want a live demo of how it failed i highly recommend you this video you have to check it this kind of situation has never happened to me this formula made me freaking judge and doubt my skills so hard gosh when you apply it and spread it all over your skin and starts blending that is the main problem it never spreads it stacks and sets i don't know how it's very weird and messy it just does not move when you spread it it doesn't spread imagine how stressful that is literally i have to remove the whole bb cream using cleansing balm micellar water and freaking had to start from step one and you guys i'm so confident that this product is not going to work for you guys as well worst foundation i've ever tried in my entire life this is so bad that i even couldn't gather courage to use it for the second time the first time how it played me 
<laughs> uh, stay away run 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 if you see discount on this formula run now the 10th product i don't know am i doing a little bit cheating because i did not buy it i actually got it in pr but again this formula is not bad and i wouldn't also say that this does not work for me this does works for me but i feel like the price and the quality what it does on my skin doesn't match doesn't go hand in hand so i'm basically talking about this product right here so this is my glam twisted volumizing and curling mascara now i know it's very fancy i love the smell though it doesn't have much smell you know my capability of my nose <laughs> how fancy this is like the one freaking move according to your eye shape yeah you have the switch here you twist it that's why the name is twisted mascara so it is very fancy and i know that because of this mechanism the price adds up but girl i have to look at the quality as well like it gives you very natural lashes i even have this mascara on my eyes both my eyelashes upper and lower upper so i have falsies on so you are not going to understand but lower you can see i have the mascara and by the look you can understand that this is not a bad product can you still literally see that the formula is so good but the only problem with this one is that my lashes are so stubborn and straight it doesn't curl me up it gives length i can see the length when i do this or when i do this but it doesn't curl me up so ultimately my lashes looks flat but longer and i have twisted this one to every angle to fit my lashes but yeah it did not help me at all rather than i think the mars one gives me more lift and it's like five times cheaper i think the wand is creating some problem i don't know if you have straight lashes like me don't go for this formula because it's very expensive based on how little to none lift it gives that's why i don't like it but i love to apply it on my lower lash line so that's why this mascara is for like clean girl no makeup makeup look minimal looking for them it's the best so yeah these are the 10 products that i sort of dislike to really dislike to dislike and hate as hell so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed today's video so i think it kind of slightly turned into a roasting video anyway like share comment subscribe girlies subscribe okay what are you doing subscribe <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go now i'll meet you guys in my next video and then be happy and bye Chilling in my thoughts I'm drowning in the ocean of your love Deep down, girl